Hey guys, what is up? We got another box here for me provided by Davidson Fishing. We're going to review Rush's Tackle Box for the month of March. So if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Let me know. Comment down below what you think of this unboxing. And what you think of Rush Tackle Box in general. So we got a what's inside the card box here. Cool, cool. Little uh, statement from them. I'm not going to bother reading it. Uh, so first up, it says we have a mystery hard bait at $10.99, and that is the live target shiner, right there. So when I looked it up online, it was $10.99, or sorry, it was $11.99. So it's a dollar over what they uh, originally said. The color is uh, silver flake. And it's a uh, nice uh, shallow hollow body uh, swim swim bait. It's four and a half inches long, half ounce weight. So it says the live tire hollow body shiner features a realistic profile, lifelike color pattern with the versatile swimming action that makes it exceptionally easy to use. The hollow, bo hollow body snag resistant design enables it to be fished through heavy cover. Walk the dog across the surface to generate a tantalizing bubbling trail. Add a treble hook to the belly to enhance hookups in open water. Cool. Uh, let's see if I can uh, pull it out here. I think I've gotten this before. I'm not sure if I've given it to one of you guys in a giveaway. So there it is right there. Yeah. Pretty sure I've received one of these before. There it is. Nice little weight, so it helps with the casting. That's ah, nice, uh, nice lure. You can't go wrong with Live Target. They're pretty good with their stuff. Uh, so next up, we have a Pro Series Exo Lure Soft Plastic. Let's look at what this is. So we got the four-inch Adrenaline Bug. And the color is California 420. Um, I think if you're going to name something California 420, it's got to be green and not black and red. You know what I mean? So here we go. So it's uh, black with a red flake in there. They call this the California 420. Uh, to me, if... Uh, I think that should be like, you know, a 420 color, if you know what I mean. So on their website, R2B has this listed at $6.99. And on their website, it was up for $5.99. And the description on this was the soft body and floating claws make this bait irresistible to bass. Once they feel this soft bait in their mouth, they will not let it go. The specialized plastic, super fine salt, and scent infused formula used to make the adrenaline bug allows the claws to float at rest for a time, mimicking the defensive stance of a real crayfish. All of these exceptional features produce a creature bait that swims, hops, and underleats in the water, creating a new, unique sonic signature and vibration that the bass love. The adrenaline bug is extremely versatile and is available in 14 proven fish catching colors and a covering to cover a wide variety of applications including flipping, pitching, and punching. So that's the Pro Series Exxon uh, 4 inch adrenaline bug. Next up we got another mystery hard bait which is the Begley Rattling Diving Killer B2. There it is right there. The color is chartreuse shad. Yep, chartreuse shad. They have it, uh, so the mystery hard bait is listed at $9.99. And I found it online for $5.99. So the description says that the new Bagley Rattling Driving Killer RB2 Dives a little deeper than the original Killer B and still delivers the aggressive hunting action and deadly deflections of the originals. 
now featuring a built-in lead weight into the traditional rounded diving bill as well, which allows it to dive quickly and maximizing your time in the strike zone. It also casts like a bullet even in the wind, helping you cover more water and increase your chances of coming into contact with fish on every cast. A must-have in any crankbait angler's arsenal, Jim Bagley would be proud of the new Bagley Rattling Diving Killer B2. Okay, so let's uh, check this out. It definitely has that uh, weight on the bill there. Hopefully you guys can see it. Got the chartreuse on the bottom. And I guess uh, the blue shad color on top. It's got a nice deep rattle to it. Yeah, decent bait overall. All right, what's next? We got the Fanatic Bandit. Where is that? Bang. I've never seen a package like this. Let me know if you've ever seen a package like this. It's cool for a soft plastic. So we got some little swim baits here. This is three inches. So the color is number 008. So I had to look up online. And it's called Purple Nebula. Right there. So, let's take a look at that right now. Also, I'm not sure, I think this is in Ukrainian. They got little rigging tips there. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's got a, a weird color. It, it reminds me of something in the past when I was a kid. Um, some kind of like I, I can't recall but it's it's definitely bringing up uh, childhood memories here okay so this is what it says online there are a lot of swim baits out there and all of them claim to be unique and fancy however they usually end up being copies of one another bandit is different and we stand for the, this word I won't mention centrifuge injection or the addition of secret natural ingredients this time. No, we will concentrate on one thing. This little cut on the body's upper part, it was designed to make sure you can cast all day, all, all night using treble hooks or double hooks, something no other swim bait can let you do. Now, what are they talking about? Oh. Okay, it's got like a little groove there. Hopefully you guys can see it at the top there. Sweet. It's got all kinds of different flakes. This is a really cool little uh, swim bait. Uh, that's awesome. So that's listed at $549. Sorry, on their card it says uh, $599 online, $549. No big deal. Um, this is awesome. I can't wait to use this. And then of course, we got some Rush Tackle Box Soft Plastics. Oops, I mean uh, Great Lakes. Because uh, nobody knows who actually owns this company, but you can always get them in a Rush Tackle Box. So this is uh, Pearl. It's listed at $5.99. Yeah, it's got a little uh, squiggly tail on the end there. Uh, looks like it'd be a nice little trailer. I wonder if it, uh, I don't know. Can't really go wrong with that, I guess. You know, but again, it's another Great Lakes product. And, uh, you know, how many of these do you get? Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry, ten of them for five ninety nine. Hmm. For kind of a no name brand, 
Oh, sorry, five ninety nine. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, next up, we got Fanatic Tokyo Rig, and they have this listed at six ninety nine. And I was struggling to figure out what a Tokyo Rig was. I had no clue. I had to look it up. Uh, so apparently it's uh, VMC's name. So when I looked it up on Fanatic's website, it's actually called a lollipop rig. I see here it says Tokyo rig. So they have on there saying you can call it a Tokyo rig, name owned by VMC, a Jika rig, or a lollipop rig. It doesn't really matter as long as it stays on top of any other bass rig when it comes to efficiency and versatility. Our design differs from existing competitors because it's supposed to be used on a heavy duty snap instead of a swivel. This way it is less likely to break but more importantly it lets you switch hooks. We believe simpler is better especially when it comes to fishing. So there it is right here. Hopefully you guys can see that and then the top piece would go onto your swivel and then you'd have a hook come out the side right here and that's it cool little uh, lollipop rig or Tokyo rig whatever you want to call it let me know if you've ever used these before I actually can't wait to try and give these a shot see how they work should be fun and the light, uh, the price listing on the website was four ninety nine. RTBs was six ninety nine. They have their total value at forty six ninety four. After I totaled everything up, I had about forty forty four, not that far off. So we got two stickers. We got a Mitchell sticker, and we got. Bass Jumpsters Drop a Line. Hmm. RTB's always got the best stickers in my opinion. Like you don't really want to have too many catch go stickers and whatnot, but these are kind of more original, uh, cool little stickers. So guys, thank you for coming to watch uh, this video. If you've made it all the way to the end, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, tell your friends, leave a comment down below. And I'll catch you on the next cast.